In today's episode, we're decorating the fireplace. So if you're interested in seeing how that turns out, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me, Decorating on a Budget. Now today I am hosting my annual Summer Fireplace Collaboration. Now my guest host today is Marilyn at Marilyn's Cozy Lifestyle. Now I'll have the link to her channel along with the playlist with the other participants down below in the description bar. Now please go by and check out Marilyn. She always does a wonderful job on her fireplace. Now this year, and eh, I was kind of like in a rut trying to figure out what to do at no spin. That's the key this year, no spin. So how I'm decorating the fireplace, all the things I'm using were already in my stash. Nothing was purchased just for this. I went out in the garage and got to digging and found some things I forgot I had. <laughs> so we're going to get this started. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Don't forget to include an apple.
Now everything I already had in my stash. Now the yellow candles you see on the end, they all came from Amazon. The yellow peonies, they are napkin rings and they actually came from Amazon. Now the white apple as you see here came from the Dollar Tree. Now I have the Z Gallery Duke candle holders, the Z Gallery Duke cloach, and the cake stand. Uh, the cake stand was bought at a store called Dirt Cheap before it moved from my area. The wooden candle holders here came from General Dollar. They were like four, five dollars a piece, something like that. They were like on a clearance. And the tray that the cloach is on, I had that. Uh, it was for a cheese stand. Reuse, reuse. And then the wreath, if you notice, I had this up a few years back. What I did was I added some of the yellow flower garland that I had in my stash from the Dollar Tree. I added some peonies from Amazon on the side. And that longer flower came from the Dollar Tree. Now here on the mantle itself, the green leaves, I believe they came from the Dollar Tree. Don't quote me on that. I cannot remember. And then on top of that, I add like a ragweed. Because it's summer, you know, the grass is usually crunchy here in Houston, in Texas, in the fields and stuff. So I thought that would be perfect. Now I really do like the way it turned out. It turned out gorgeous. Now what I did was, because I had the two wooden candle holders, I put a wooden thing on the other side to balance it out some. Don't forget to check the playlist out down below and check out the other participants. I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to see what everybody does. Okay everybody, this is another day. And I've been watching my mantle and watching my mantle and something was wrong with it. So I know I'm going to have to change it. I didn't want to change it, but something's bothering me. And that's bothering me. Yeah, I know. So I went back to the store where I bought the wooden ones from to see if I could find any more. Well, they're having a clearance. And lo and behold, they only had these two left. So now I am going to change what I have on the mantle and make it more cohesive where it don't get on my nerves. So I'm going to get started. And yes, the voiceover doesn't match the video because my goofy behind forgot to turn on the mic. <laughs> so let me get to work. Now you're ready for the final reveal. What I did was I added the two new candle holders on and I put three flowers out, one, two, three in the center. Now I'm gonna change that around and you tell me which one you like the best. Do you like it with the flowers spread it out at each candle holder or do you like them in a bunch in the center? Let me know down below. You know I love reading your comments and please don't forget to check out the playlist for the other participants. It'll be listed down below as well as my co-host Marilyn. And I will see you in the next episode.